On Thursday, we found out that the U.S. weekly jobless claims totaled 2.9 million, bringing coronavirus tally to 36.5 million. And Canada's March factory sales slumped by the most in over 11 years. But Bank of Japan's Kuroda said no need to deepen negative rates right now. In other news, the U.K. Prime Minister Boris Johnson's top team of ministers agreed that Britain will not give up its right as an independent state. Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Friday, we'll be looking at the German and Eurozone's GDP as well as the U.S. retail sales. Today, I'm looking at the Euro-Dollar pair, which continues to be supported at 1.0776 and ranging below 1.099. The Ichimoku cloud has turned horizontal as well, so a medium-term trading strategy could be rain trading between these two key levels. Right now, the pair appears to be bouncing off the support, which could be an interesting buying opportunity. Do you think the euro dollar will continue to range? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.